Welcome to the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series, round 22, here from the Brickyard. Starting on the pole is Brendan Omin, and alongside him is uh, John Andretti, who's dressed your lineup. Courtney Barlow, Tom Wayne, Dylan Schwallenberg, Courtney Simpson, Josh Mabe, David Scott, Gre uh, Garrett Jones, Chris McLean, Sean Galligan, Mary Baker, Chris Summers, Matthew Lube, Christian Brandon, CJ Lurka, Jordan Spencer, Steve Dillon, jo uh, Josh Carrier, Christian James, Phil Jones, Ziggy Bain, Ralph Green, Colum Wales, John Dillon, uh, Gino Harvey, Christian Baker, Timmy Paccioli, Josh Quinn, Bridget Fairley, Matt Bullock, Tim Baker, G uh, uh, whoops. Uh, Kurt Kozlowski, Colin Cropley, Dre oh, sorry, Greg Jones, uh, Michael Harvey, Greg Brown, Hunter Stone, Alex Filter, Dougie Shears, Bryce Harvey, and Thomas Shane. All right, so as the cars will roll off here at the track that has had so much action in the past for the Indy cars, the Indianapolis 500, and then the Brickyard 400 in NASCAR. And this should be a big shakeup in the standings today, as this track is somewhat loose. So, not out of control loose, but, you know, there's not much grip on this track today. It's 94 degrees, so the track is pretty uh, heated up. As we exit turn number four, Brendan Amon is going to lead them to the green flag at this great at this great race track. Here we go out of turn number four and onto this long front straightaway. Finish line way at the end of it. Here we go, green flag. 24 laps of racing from Indy is underway as John Andretti beats Amon to the line there. Um, that is not an illegal pass though. Here we go out of two. All right, looking on through the pack, they were all okay. And oh no, there's a wreck. Column Wales hit the wall. Oh man, he's the only driver involved. And hopefully they don't wreck on their way back to the start finish line. And I don't know if we can count on that. All right, this other angle. Oh. Oh no, Josh Quinn is around, the point leader. Oh my gosh, oh no, there's another wreck. Christian Brandon, Garrett Jones. Oh, Sean Galligan's hard into the wall. Oh my gosh. There was so many wrecks on that first lap, it was not funny at all. Oh no. Let's see what happened in all three of those wrecks. Here's what happened to Column Wales. We had three wrecks. Uh oh, that's not a good angle. Okay, watch this car right here. Right behind Ziggy Bain. Right here, 16. Sorry, the fans are in the way there. And, oh, John Dillon just ran him over. Slams the wall extremely hard. Bridget Fairley just clips him. Tim Baker just clips him. But they were okay is the difference there. As Josh Gwynn. Sorry, we'll have to speed this up. I don't know if the wreck happened in front of these guys. Oh, yeah, it was right here. So right here. Watch the 97. Christian Baker hits the wall, bounces off Josh Gwynn, the point leader. This is going to shake up the standings in a huge way. And look out, rest of the pack. Greg Brown, Gino Harvey. Oh, man. Huge. And then, yeah, if you thought we were, it was over, yeah, you wish. I believe Garrett Jones was one of the first cars around. He is eliminated from the championship. Oh, yeah, it was Christian Brandon. Oh, I see what happened here. Okay. Watch the uh, 67 and the 18. The 6 turns the 18 of Garrett Jones into Christian Brandon right in front of the entire pack. Look at this. Jordan Spencer, Josh Currier, Courtney Simpson slightly involved. Phil Jones, look out. He got through that. And, oh, my gosh. You would not believe how hard of a hit that was for, uh, who was that? Uh, Galligan, I believe it was. Whoops, we're going the wrong way. We're looking up through the pack. Oh, quick. Okay, there we go. 
Here's what happened to Sean Galligan. Aw, oh, Summers. Look out, slams the inside wall. Galligan had a shot at the championship coming into this race. It's over. There's Simpson, a few others. Garrett Jones is actually okay. Mary Baker's still in this race. Timmy Pacciolo is still in this race. So a lot of those drivers, Christian Baker, Greg Brown, Tim Baker, Gino Harvey. Is Josh Gwynn okay? Yes, he is. Josh Gwynn is going to be all right. So, that is good news for the championship for him. Oh, no, Pacioli, a championship contender is around. He was also wrecked in this. Oh, man, this is just terrible. Oh, man, four wrecks on the first lap. That, you know this is the end of the season. <laughs> Guys are getting impatient. All right, let's get back to the restart. The pace car is almost... Is about to make that turn on pit road. Here's how they restart. Brendan Amon on point, then Courtney Barlow, Tom Wayne, John Andretti, Josh Mabe, Dylan Schwallenberg, Courtney Simpson, Chris McLean, Phil Jones, and Mary Baker. Your top ten as we go back to the front, where Brendan Amon will lead them down to the green flag on lap six of 24. We are going to be one quarter of the way through the race when they take the green flag. Here we go. Green flag is in the air at the brickyard. Almond will lead him down. All right, with so many cars wrecked in that first one, I don't know if we're going to have any more cautions because we don't have many cars left to make cautions with. Out of two, looking on, or sorry, out of one. Now here we go, up out of two right now. It looks like everybody's going to be all right. This is a great view to see in that very long straightaway to see if anybody's wrecking, and they aren't right now, so that's a very good thing. But Barlow is going to go to the inside of Amon, and now it looks like John Andretti is going to make it. No, he was going to make it three wide, and he thought better of it. Indy with a uh, loose surface right now. Yeah, you don't want to make a three wide move. It's just going to get you in the wall. And I thought I. No, never mind. I thought Matt Bullock maybe went around there, but he didn't. He's okay. As Barlow continues leading. Oh, Mary Baker's into the wall hard! Oh, Ziggy Bain, I saw. He was wrecking, too. Point contenders wrecking like crazy today. Oh, man. Summers. No, Summers was wrecked. All the point contenders are wrecked. Pacioli wrecked. He was fourth in points coming into this race. Summers wrecked Galligan, but he really got affected by it as well. He was third. Mary Baker just wrecked. She was second. And Josh Gwynn was the point leader, and he got wrecked. Oh, man. Points are going to just be incredible after this race. The race back to the line is going to be John Andretti. All right, so let's see what happened. This this view just does not offer a good look at who the drivers are. This is Mary Baker here on the inside. This is Courtney Simpson. Right here, Simpson just hooks her, slams her into the wall very hard, and there was nowhere to go. Ziggy Bain went around. John Dillon went around. Uh, Cropley got involved. Kurt Keselowski. Uh oh, look out, Lorca. That was close. Oh, Ziggy Bain flips. Oh, man. And Summers. Oh, Summers. He was all right from when he got into Galligan. And, uh oh, that's. Oh, man. I don't really have a good view. Oh, there's a good view. Okay. Oh, he was driving on through. He hits uh, Ziggy, and then he slams into Greg. And very hard hit there. Um, so a very hard hit for pretty much all these drivers. Let's ride on board with Mary Baker. Riding on board with Mary Baker. Oh, she almost flipped. Try it on board with Ziggy Bain. Riding on board with Ziggy Bain. Oh man, that had to be a. And looked out. There he goes. Oh, poor Ziggy Bain. I don't think he completely went over. I think he just kind of went out to the side and then rolled back over. So, let's get back to the restart again. The pace car has one more corner and then we'll get to the restart. So, let's get to. uh top 10. Restarting on point is John Andretti, then Courtney Barlow, Josh Mabe, 
Chris McLean and Dylan Schwalmberg, your top 10, and Tom Wayne, Brendan Aubin, Phil Jones, Steve Dillon, and Ralph Green, your top 10. I don't, wait, I think I said top 10 after Schwalmberg. I don't know. But anyways, that was after the top five, but the green flag's in the air. John Andretti leads him into one. They stay single file. It's about the smartest they've been today. They seem to fan out and then wreck each other. Uh, there goes Mabe. Nah, no, he thinks better of it. That could have gotten really bad. Speaking of getting bad, that was almost... Oh, that was almost a battle for the lead gone wrong there. As Josh Mabe got to the inside. Or no, I think that might have been Barlow that got to the inside of John Andretti and almost turned him. I think we're going to make this lap green flag racing. Here's a little bit more of a view at the entire pack. And, yes, everybody's going to make it. Oh, Kurt Kozlowski and John Dillon. I hope they didn't hit that pit wall. That would have been bad. Oh, man. Was there a caution? Well, it must have not been bad because there was no caution. And, oh, Josh Courier hit the wall. Did he make it? Somehow, some way he did. Josh Courier hit the wall, though. All right, let's quick see what happened to... Kurt Keselowski. Oh, no, that entire front end of John Dillon is destroyed. How? What? There is no caution for this. Oh, wow, John Dillon. No caution for this? Are you kidding me? Oh, man, this is terrible. Look at John Dillon. That is a very scary crash right there. And let's ride on board with him here. This is going to be very painful. Oh, man, he just got stuck onto that wall. Oh, that's terrible. And, oh, no, there's no good view of that. Besides our TV cameras. That had to be the hardest hit ever in uh, the Best Fresh Ops Cup Series. Hopefully, John Dillon is all right. That was a very bad hit. It's a good thing he didn't slide sideways and get hit on the driver's door. That'd be really bad. Uh, somehow the pace car... Yeah, the pace car started moving and then he stopped. So I don't know what's up with that, but... John Andretti continues leading with a... Just with a huge lead over uh, Courtney Barlow. And it looks like Mabe might go to the inside of her. And yes, it looks like Mabe is going to take second. From Barlow, yes, he will. It's going to fly by up off two, see if anybody is wrecking. Come so close to that wall. And this is a good view. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much single file this entire way through. And, oh, Steve Dillon clipped the wall. Oh, he's still up off the preferred line. Look out. Oh, oh, wow, that was very close. Oh, no, they're there around. Oh, no, Chris McLean's on his lid. Oh, no, he's flipping down the front stretch, and now will Bryce Harvey get into him? No. Will David Scott? Yes, and Hunter Stone finishes him off. Oh, man, that was a huge hit. John Andretti easily won the respect to the line. All right, let's see what happened to Chris McLean. Here's what happened to Chris McLean. He's got into Tom Wayne here on the front straightaway. And there they go. Slams that inside wall. Gets up off the ground. Flipping down this front stretch at 160 miles an hour. That's never fun. And Bryce Harvey, he might have gotten into, uh, who was it? Tom Wayne. There's Chris McLean still flipping. And this is a different view than what we saw originally, but yeah, that other view is better to see who else was involved in this because he's spinning in front of the pack. There's a championship contender, Christian Baker. Well, slight championship contender. David Scott hits him. No for Hunter Stone to go or Alex Filter. This is then Filter wrecked and Tim Baker wrecked. So both those guys are already eliminated from the championship, so it's nothing big for the championship. But Chris McLean was in contention, so that could put him out of the championship so, uh, let's get back to the restart. We have one more corner until the restart. So, here's how they will restart. 
On point will be John Andretti, then second is Josh Mabe, Courtney Barlow, Christian James, Brennan Om in your top five, then Phil Jones, Steve Dolan, CJ Lorca, Ralph Green, and Dylan Schwallenberg. The top ten as the pace car dives onto pit road. John Andretti is out front to win his second race, but his first ever points race in the Best Pro Shops Cup Series. It had put him kind of in the middle of being in contention for the championship. Here we go. Green flags in the air at the Brickyard. John Andretti off into one. Looks like he's going to get to the inside, and yes, he will clear the lap traffic. Here we go off of two. Everybody's going to survive it. As Courtney Simpson and Tim Baker have really fallen off of the pace. As we head down the back straightaway. Oh, man. Courtney Simpson is really off the pace here. She's going 181 as the leaders are hitting 216. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic. <laughs> Here we go onto the front straightaway. Oh, Lorca and Almond are not getting together. Well, they're getting together, but they're not exactly getting together. Well, their cars got together. Their um, tempers aren't exactly uh, measuring to be even with each other. I don't think that made sense, but here we go out of turn number two. Down the back straightaway. Brendan Amon and Lorca, they are single file, so I think they will be okay. And uh, you don't want to retaliate at these high of speeds, because last year at Atlanta... Uh, Kozlowski and Edwards got together, and it kind of caused a probation deal for Edwards. As they cross the line this time, it'll be four laps to go at the Brickyard. John Andretti is out front, and the battle for second is heating up between Christian Janes and Courtney Barlow. And, oh, Amon got very loose up off that second turn there. Let's kind of stop here with the flybys for uh, maybe this lap. As John Andretti is leading this race into three, it looks like he, yes, he is, or sorry, Christian Janes uh, is clear of Barlow's, what we were talking about there. And Janes starting to close. Here we go. Oh, no, Lorca's around in front of the pack, and upside down is Schwallenberg. Oh, no. Schwalmberg's still flipping it. Oh, Lorca. Please tell me he didn't hit that pit wall. Like, uh, John Dillon. Well, let's get to the replay. Here's what happened to bring out the caution that could end the race. Josh Mabe and CJ Lorca get together. Slams Lorca into the wall. Look out right in front of the pack. Okay, good. He did not, uh, flip. And But on the other hand, Schwallenberg upside down, flipping down the front straightaway. Looks a lot like what happened to Chris McClain earlier. And Ralph is a uh, somewhat championship contender, and this is pretty much going to kill any chance he had of the championship. And there is Lorca. Uh, there is Simpson. She's actually passing cars right here. And uh, she hasn't been able to do that yet this race, so... Uh, the pace car is out, and that could end the race because, yeah, we're already on lap 22 of 24. So we'll get John Andretti crossing the line to win the race. All right, John Andretti is about a quarter lap away from his first points race win. So here's how they will finish. In your top ten, John Andretti's going to win the race. Then Christian James, Courtney Barlow, Phil Jones, Brendan Amon, Steve Dillon, Christian Baker, Kurt Kislowski. Oh, wait, no, he's a lap down. Eighth is Dougie Shears. Ninth, Courier. And tenth, Bryce Harvey. Bryce Harvey is eliminated from the championship. Same with Dougie Shears. So some of those guys don't exactly, um, aren't exactly racing for the championship anymore. And here comes John Andretti. He's going to win his second race in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series. But this is his first points win. So let's get to your results. Here's how they will finish for the Brickyard 400. Winning the race is John Andretti with an average speed of 99.224 miles an hour, which is very slow for this track, but 
there were um, some, uh, quite a few cautions. So John Andretti won the race, and we already went over your top ten when we, uh, we saw John Andretti finishing the race. Uh, Josh Mabe was the first car out of the race. Courtney Simpson was the last person to finish the race. She was well off the pace, pretty much half the race. And uh, Colin Cropley finishes 28th, Jordan Spencer 27th. Some guys that are right on the merge of losing out on a mathematical shot at the championship. Uh, Greg Brown will finish last, which uh, he's already eliminated, but this could knock him all the way down to the last in points. Uh, Gino Harvey, Colin Wales. There is Josh Gordon. That is big. He is 39th right here, and that is not what he needed. So, uh, Josh Gwynn is our point leader, and right now that could change. But Mary Baker only finished eight spots better, and I think she was about that many points out coming into this race. And then Summers outdid both of them, and Patchy Oli did better than just Gwynn. So, it should really heat up the championship. So, uh, let's get the burnouts from the winner. Uh, John and Dreddy, and then we will close it out with the celebration screen. Congratulations to John and Dreddy on his second win, his first points win, though. Enjoy those burnouts.